wash my face, take a shower, brush my teeth. Um, I got this little face mask that I started trying to do because I have a lot of um, dark spots on my face. Ooh, I forgot that I ain't get a hip. Jesus Christ. So y'all see this? My hairline's starting to grow back now. But, you know, the waves are still there. It's just like, my hair's matted. I gotta like, it's it's a lot. I'm gonna wash my hair today um, because I plan on getting my hair cut in about two weeks. Um, oh yeah, so this is how my shower looks. It's pretty, it's, most of you guys know what my shower looks like. I don't think I've ever been on YouTube in my shower. Alright, so anywho, um, I'm going to get in the shower. When I get back out, I'm going to wash my hair, shampoo, conditioner. Um, I use what my brother uses, has head and shoulders. I use Cantu and I use um, this white blends, Garnier. Um, I usually use anything that's from Shea Moisture um, products, but I don't have any more. Only thing I have from Shea Moisture is um, my curl enhancing smoothie, which I use to curl my hair up whenever um, I have a whole lot of hair on my head, and just to keep my wave pattern. So the, the curl enhancing, what the, whatever. All right, so I'm gonna hop in the shower. So I'm gonna hop in the shower and I'll be back to show you guys what I wash my face with and things of that nature, what I put on there. And just to start clearing up my face. All right, BRB. So now that I showered, you know, I washed my hair, stuff like that. Like I told y'all, if y'all see on the side, my um hairline right here is starting to grow back in and right there. It's gonna be a process. You know, my waves are still there. Um, yeah, so now I'm gonna show y'all what I wash my face with. Um, I have this brush, right? I also use, I start first with um, uh, African black soap. It comes with aloe in it as well, and vitamin E. No, I'm cocoa butter and vitamin E. So it's pretty good. Um, it's black, so make sure that, you know, when you do put it on, That it doesn't get messy, so take this, put it on, and then take my brush because the soap is messy. I don't put it on my brush first, just have it on my face before. And I use um, warm water, you don't want it to be too hot either. I turn it on a hot speed. And just go. Now the soap is like OD, OD soapy. So I don't gotta put too much. And then you wanna rinse it off each time even though i came out the shower my pores are open i might still have dirt on my face because i haven't washed my face yet so you don't want to keep using the brush over and over so you just want to rinse it out each time all right and once i'm done i just rinse it off so after i rinse it off washed it off um Take my towel, dry my face up, and things like that. Once that's done, I got water on me. Once that's done, um, I usually, at nighttime, I do something different. I usually put aloe on there once I'm done. Like aloe and um, honey, because I have dark spots. And they told me that's what's going to help, you know, fix that. So I put um, witch hazel on a cotton ball and just... Wipe it up, um, wipe up my skin. Cause like I said, um, I got surgery in two months or a month, a month and a half. I got surgery in a month and a half. And to be honest, I just, 
I just want to become a whole new person after my surgery. Uh, just taking care, better care of myself, doing things differently. Today is Friday, so today's shot day. So you guys actually get to see me take my shot. Um, anybody who followed the old channel probably already seen me do that. But if you haven't, then you'll see me do it now. Uh, I'm going to take it in a, a few as soon as I get dressed and all that stuff. Because all I need to do is just pull my pants down and shoot myself. Which is a little nerve-wracking sometimes depending on where you at. But other than that, yeah. So, I'm going to put my hat on. I'm going to go to Callan Lord to get my shot. I'm going to show you. It's on 14th Street. We're going to go there. Oh, after that, I put vitamin E, a little bit of vitamin E oil because my skin is a little bit, tad bit oily. But um, witch hazel dries out your skin. So once that dries off, let's put a little bit of um, vitamin E oil. And this is what my vitamin E oil looks like. I'm on my way to Kellen Lord, which is where I get my um my hormones for my shots to get regulated, you know, keep up with my body and get my checkups and stuff. Oh yeah, by the way, vlogging in New York is so freaking hard because so many people around and so much noise. It's just a lot and then people be in the way. I don't know. But oh my God. <laughs> I'm good. I'm doing good. I'm so sorry. No worries. Um, yeah, so sorry. That's what happens when you meet people. I love people. Um, yeah, it's so hard to vlog in New York. It's people all over the place. But yeah, this the when you get to 14th Street, you wanna walk to 18th Street and then just walk down um the block. And yeah, just Google it. It'll have all the address, the information. They have one um, location in the Bronx. But anyways, with whatever um, with whatever complex stuff happens um, from here, like a lot of people will have bad like things to say about Canada. Oh, there's that in a third. But personally, for me, um, Canada is great. Without them, I wouldn't be able to get my hormones. So, honestly, whatever other you know issues come with it, I don't mind. It's been great for the past three years of giving me my stuff. I come and I get about uh, six months worth of things. But yeah, I'm gonna go in. Remember, I went to Calvin Lord to get my my you know my stuff so if anybody ever watched my old videos um you know i like to do my shot in the bathroom i don't know why it's just what i like to do i don't like to be in my room i don't like to be anywhere else um so this is what they give me right um i had to buy some new syringes so these are the syringes that well not syringes but they come um, needles and stuff. So I use two different size needles. One to draw out the um, medicine, the other to inject it. So I don't think I'm doing any drugs, right? I don't know why. Every time I, I do this, I have to tell, I have to say this because, you know, most people are not used to seeing people draw out needles and, you know, stick themselves with it. Um, then I have another bag where I keep a whole bunch of other syringes and needles. If you look inside, hold on. a whole bunch of needles and syringes. So that's one thing. Um, second, these are my testosterone bottles for six months. I uh, take half of a bottle each week. Well, there's three shots in one bottle for the week. So I have six months worth in here. Uh, I go to Kellen Lord. Without insurance, I only pay 13 bucks for, for Six months worth. Um, with insurance, I believe it's free and you're fine. So it's, you know, it's whatever. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna draw it out with one, um, so one syringe 
and a yellow needle. I call it, I'll, I'll go back. Alright. Now I have a cotton ball and also something to wipe the area with. Okay. So but I draw everything out before wiping the area. And you might want to have a station um to put everything. Once it's out, this needle is um I said this needle, this bottle is brand new so I don't have to um I don't have to clean it up so I just pop the cap off and I draw out what it is that I need for my amount. I'm not gonna give out the amount because um and I'm not gonna give out the name of the you know the medicine that I take because of the simple fact that a lot of people um go to black markets and get it for cheaper and for free and i already mentioned this in previous videos a long time ago um they get it from black market and that can be dangerous for you because when you're on testosterone you want your blood levels to be checked because like someone like me i'm anemic so like my blood has to be checked a lot i have to switch doses back and forth because my levels go really high and um i have too much testosterone in my body which end up turning into estrogen sometimes so i have to get my blood levels checked often so um you don't want to inject yourself with anything you're not sure about go to your doctor and get it done properly and like i said i'm not going to give out my dosage because once again, if someone does get a black market um, shot, they'll end up going by the dosage that they think is appropriate, not knowing that this is something that goes for each individual person. So once I got my proper dosage, I pull it out, get the whole thing in there, pop, close my needle up, switch it up. So this is for someone who's starting tea and doesn't know how to do it. This is, you know, you can learn from here. Your needles get disposed in um, a hazard thingy thingy. Some over there. I'll get it later and put it in there. But this is this. My um, shot is in here. Okay. Now, the thing is that these ones already come with, that's the problem now. These already come with the syringe on there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove my needle and put it on this syringe. Cause I don't need the whole syringe, I just need the needle. So once that's in, I got my shot is ready basically. All right, so I'm gonna put this here and drop my Pantalon is for y'all. Don't look at my goodies. Right? So. Now that the under drawers, the drawers is down, the drawers is down. Y'all ain't gonna see, oh, um, no nothing, so don't worry. <laughs> I might be like, ooh. No. Nah. Um, I feel like I wore this short. I did wear this shirt, but I, I washed it. Don't worry, this is my gym clothes. Um, I'm looking for something. Oh, my wiping pad. So I gotta take one of these. Yeah, so don't come at my tank top. I just realized, I'm like, wait, this tank top looks familiar. It was in my two pre previous um, videos. So you wipe the area. You want to start from the middle out. So basically, whatever area you wipe before, you don't want to go back in. So you start from the middle to the outside in a circle motion. Big legs. All right. Once that's done, you take the needle. Take the needle and you inject yourself. Make sure there's no bubble when you're about to push it out. I think I might be. Okay, I'm good. 
Make sure you have no bubbles in it and you're good. I uh, kind of hate to spot this time frame because I start going through it. Um, start overthinking. It's weird I don't do it while I'm talking, so give me some time. If Oh, the viewers' discretion is advised. You can take this off if you're not used to seeing needles or needles going into places or whatnot, whatnot, whatever, whatever. Um, don't watch white folks. Once you poke yourself, you want to pull the needle out to make sure you're not um, bleeding so you didn't hit any um, veins. You want to push it in and, oh, sorry, get a cotton ball and just pull it out and apply pressure because obviously you're, um, you might bleed. But you know, my anemic ass, I don't have... I cap it back, so don't lose the cap, like I just did, almost. And then you put a bandaid over it. I'm gonna put dispose of this as well. Don't dispose of your needles in the garbage, all right? Major, major key. Well, so yeah, I'm just rubbing my medicine in. Okay, so, see? Bleeding. Oh snap! <laughs> I didn't even realize. <laughs> so I'll pick this up. That's it. I'm not bleeding anymore, so I don't have to put a bandaid. So yeah, that's how I take my shot, and. That's about it. It's pretty simple. It's not that hard. Um, you know, I got used to it because I was I got tired of, you know, waiting for them to give me my shot, so I started doing it on my own. Peace.